Hey y'all, I'm Tanala, and the questions for this discussion is why is Haydn considered the father of symphony and why doesn't the title belong to Beethoven? Compare and contrast these two composers and their contributions to this genre. So Haydn is the father of symphony because he has contributed so much to the genre of music. He created over a hundred over a hundred symphonies. He was famous for his chamber music. Um, and one of my favorite pieces from Haydn was the Surprise Symphony. We listened to it and it just kind of started off kind of at a rapid pace and then it gradually got slower and then all of a sudden it was like a big surprise. I'll talk about that later. Um, Beethoven wasn't the father of symphony. Um, simply my opinion was because he did it first, but... He was also a mentor and a teacher of Mozart and Beethoven and being taught by one of the best, the father of symphony, they were very, those two were very influential to, um, they were very influential symphonies. Um, Haydn, Haydn versus Beethoven. Haydn had way more symphonies, um, than Beethoven. He was employed by Prince, um, the Estrahazy family. They were like a royal family, and he was kind of like a, I guess you would say, like the music director of everything, um, which made his music have more structure. Um, it was more put together. It was well organized. Most will say that Beethoven didn't have that um, because he was not one of those. He was not like hiding. Um, then also Beethoven was considered one of the first um, romantic composers because of his strong emotion in his music. Okay, for example, Haydn, like I told you, one of my favorite pieces was the surprise piece. Haydn, that was a very lively piece, as I said, and then it slowly got and then it slowly started to slow down. And then after that came a surprise. And then it um, sped back up. Um, I really enjoyed that piece. And then, for example, Beethoven, his was a lot lighter sometimes. Like a song, it was Symphony Number no. 7. It was a lighter sound. And it had like a distraught feeling if you listen to it. But also, something else, fun fact about Beethoven. Beethoven was gradually losing his hearing. So his music um, started to get louder and louder. And I really enjoyed that about him.